Hello everyone. In today's session, we'll be going to learn about few basics of accounting, which is of theoretical part. So here are the contents we'll go through in this chapter, which are meaning of accounting, characteristics of accounting, objectives of accounting, bookkeeping, types of accounting, accounting as a source of information, users of accounting information, role of accounting, qualitative characteristics of accounting, and basic terms in accounting. So let's begin with the first content, which is meaning of accounting. Now, what is accounting? Maintaining the complete and systematic record of every business transaction is accounting. हर business transaction का एक complete and systematic record maintain रखना ही accounting है. Business transaction means businessman ने पूरे साल में कितनी purchases की, कितनी sales की है. इसका एक systematic record अगर वो maintain करे so he can ascertain at the end of the year how much amount of profit he has gained and how much amount of loss he has suffered. For example, when we visit to a shop and we purchase any item and pay the money to the shopkeeper, what the shopkeeper does is he maintains the record of the transaction which is just being made with us or any other customer so that at the end of the year he can ascertain the profit and loss of the business. Today, every business organization, no matter what, small or big, it has to maintain the records of the business transaction. Matlab, accounting is necessary in all types of organization, irrespective of their nature and size. Now, the second topic is characteristics of accounting. So the first characteristic is accounting is an art as well as science. Now how accounting is an art? Accounting is an art as it records, classifies and summarizes the business transactions to ascertain the profit and loss of the business and financial position of the business. Accounting is a science. Now, how accounting is a science? As we all know, science is a systematic body of knowledge based on certain specified principles. Science kya hai? Ek systematic body of knowledge hai, jo kis pe based hai? Scientific principles pe. Similarly, accounting is also a science because it is also based on specified accounting principles and accounting standards. Accounting principles and accounting standards we will learn in the further chapter. So moving on to the next characteristics, which is recording of financial transaction only. Only those transactions are recorded in accounting which are of a financial character. Sirf wahi transactions books of account may record honge jo financial character ke honge. Although there are many transactions in the business which are very important but which cannot be measured in terms of money. So such transaction will not be recorded. बहुत सारी ऐसी ट्रांजैक्शंस होती हैं जो बिजनेस के लिए इंपॉर्टेंट होती हैं बट बिकॉज इट कैन नॉट बी एक्सप्रेस इन टर्म्स ऑफ मनी इट विल नॉट बी रिकॉर्डेड इन बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट फॉर एग्जांपल क्वेरल बिटवीन प्रोडक्शन मैनेजर एंड सेल्स मैनेजर रेजिग्नेशन बाय एबल्ड एक्सपीरियंस्ड मैनेजर स्ट्राइक बाय एम्प्लॉइज ऑल दीज इवेंट्स इफेक्ट्स द अर्निंग ऑफ द बिजनेस ये सारे जितने भी इवेंट्स हैं ये क्या करती है बिजनेस को इफेक्ट करती है but as it cannot be expressed in terms of money, it will not be recorded in the books of account. Now the third characteristic is recording in terms of money. Each transaction is recorded in the books in terms of money only. Sirf wahi transactions record kiye jate hain jo monetary terms mein expressed ho. For example, if a businessman purchases 200 shares, here, the value of shares is not expressed in terms of money. 200 shares businessman ne kharide hai. Lekin kitne mein kharide hai? Ye mention nahi hai. Usko express nahi kiya gaya monetary terms mein. To is transaction ko hum record nahi karenge. But if the businessman has purchased 200 shares for rupees 5000, here the value of share is expressed in terms of money. Yaha businessman ne 200 ke shares 5000 mein liye hai. तो यहाँ पे क्या है शेयर की वैल्यू को मॉनेटरी टर्म्स में एक्सप्रेस किया गया सो दिस ट्रांजेक्शन विल बी रिकॉर्डेड इन द बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट इन स्मॉल बिजनेसेस वेयर द नंबर ऑफ ट्रांजेक्शन इज क्वाइट स्मॉल 
then all the transactions are recorded in the books called journal small businesses mein kya hote hain transactions kam hoti hain to sari transactions hum kahan record karte hain journal mein journal is also known as books of original entry iska matlab jitni bhi transactions hai business ki sabse pehle kahan record hongi journal mein record hongi but in big businesses where the number of transaction is quite large their general journal is subdivided into subsidiary books there are eight subsidiary books first is cash book which is used for recording all the cash transactions jitni bhi transactions cash se related hongi wo kahan record hongi cash book mein second is purchases book which is mainly used for recording the credit purchases of goods as the cash purchases of good is already recorded in cash book the third one is sales book which is used for recording credit sales of goods fourth is purchases return book for recording return of credit purchases fifth is sales return book which is used for recording return of credit sales sixth is bills receivable goods seventh bills payable book and it last eighth is journal proper now next characteristic is classifying now after recording the transactions in journal a subsidiary books all the transactions are now classified now what is classification classification is a process of grouping the transaction of one nature at one place in a separate account क्लासीफिकेशन का मतलब होता है जितनी भी सिमिलर ट्रांजेक्शन्स हैं जो एक नेचर के हैं वो एक सेपरेट अकाउंट में रिकॉर्ड किए जाएंगे फॉर एग्जांपल सेपरेट अकाउंट्स आर ओपन फॉर परचेजेस सेल्स एक्सेट्रा मींस परचेजेस से रिलेटेड जितनी ट्रांजेक्शन्स होंगी विल बी रिकॉर्डेड इन परचेजेस अकाउंट सेल्स से रिलेटेड जितनी ट्रांजेक्शन होंगी इट विल बी रिकॉर्डेड इन सेल्स अकाउंट now the book in which various accounts are opened is called ledger ledger ek aisi book hai jisme sare accounts ko open kiya jata hai jitne bhi separate accounts humne prepare kiye wo sab kahan record honge ledger mein honge for example all the expenses and income jitni bhi expenses and income which is recorded in journal will again be classified under the separate heads in the book ledger ledger kya hai ek aisi book jisme bahut sare separate accounts khole jate hain to basically classification ko hum kaise classify karte hain transactions ko hum kaise classify karte hain ledger ke through now the next characteristic is summarizing as we all know summary is the short description of main ideas so summarizing here means an art of presenting the classified data in a manner which is understandable and useful to the management jo bhi transaction humne yahan pe classify kiya hai summarizing ka matlab hota hai us classified data ko ek easy manner mein present kiya jaye jo ki understandable ho management ko uske users ko uske owners ko समराइजिंग ऑल्सो इन्वॉल्व प्रिपरेशन ऑफ ट्रायल बैलेंस जितनी भी ट्रांजेक्शन को हम समराइज करेंगे कैसे समराइज करेंगे बाई प्रिपेयरिंग ट्रायल बैलेंस सो वी हैव लर्न दैट ट्रांजेक्शन्स आर फर्स्ट रिकॉर्डेड इन द जर्नल देन क्लासीफाइड इन लेजर एंड एट लास्ट दे आर समराइज बाई प्रिपेयरिंग ट्रायल बैलेंस विद द हेल्प ऑफ ट्रायल बैलेंस फाइनल अकाउंट्स आर प्रिपेयर सो समराइजिंग में फाइनल अकाउंट्स भी प्रिपेयर किए जाते हैं विद द हेल्प ऑफ ट्रायल बैलेंस नाउ व्हाट आर फाइनल अकाउंट्स फाइनल अकाउंट्स कैन बी कैटेगराइज इनटू टू अकाउंट्स ट्रेडिंग एंड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट एंड बैलेंस शीट नाउ व्हाट इज ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट रिकॉर्ड्स ऑल द डायरेक्ट एक्सपेंसिस रिलेटेड टू परचेज ऑफ गुड्स एंड मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ गुड्स टू कैलकुलेट the gross profit or gross loss and profit and loss account records all the indirect expenses related to the business operations to calculate net profit or net loss so basically trading and pnl account kyun banaya jata hai 
to know the profit and loss of the business now second is balance sheet what is balance sheet बैलेंस शीट इज़ प्रिपेयर टू एसरटेन द फाइनेंशियल पोजिशन ऑफ द बिजनेस अगर हमें बिजनेस के फाइनेंशियल साउंडनेस जाननी है तो हम वो कैसे पता करेंगे बाई प्रिपेयरिंग बैलेंस शीट नाउ रिकॉर्डिंग क्लासीफाइंग एंड समराइजिंग आर ऑल्सो टर्म एज प्रोसेस ऑफ अकाउंटिंग और अकाउंटिंग साइकिल तो अकाउंटिंग साइकिल में क्या क्या इंक्लूडेड होता है रिकॉर्डिंग क्लासीफाइंग एंड समराइजिंग so let's understand the accounting cycle by this diagram first is transaction what is transaction here the transaction means identifying the financial transaction so that it can be recorded so after identifying the financial transaction the transactions are recorded in journal the journal may be subdivided into subsidiary books now after recording the transaction in journal the transactions are now classified in the books called ledger so ledger is a book in which the transactions are recorded in separate account similar transactions related to one group are recorded in separate account now after classifying the transactions in ledger now the transactions are summarized by preparing the trial balance and it last with the help of trial balance trading and pnl account and balance sheet is prepared now moving on to the next characteristic that is interpretation of the results which means presenting the results of business in such a manner that is by preparing trading and pnl account and balance sheet so that the parties interested in business can have full information about the profitability and financial position of the बिजनेस बिजनेस रिजल्ट को इस तरीके से प्रेजेंट किया जाना चाहिए दैट इज बाई प्रिपेयरिंग ट्रेडिंग एंड पी एन एल अकाउंट एंड बैलेंस शीट जिससे कि जितने भी पार्टीज इंटरेस्टेड है हमारे बिजनेस में इन्वेस्ट करने में दे कैन हैव द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी एंड फाइनेंशियल पोजिशन ऑफ द बिजनेस थ्रू ट्रेडिंग एंड पी एन एल अकाउंट एंड बैलेंस शीट नाउ द लास्ट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ अकाउंटिंग इज कम्युनिकेटिंग Now, accounting also includes communication of financial data to the users. Now, who are the users? Management and other internal and external users. So, jitne bhi hamare pas financial data hota hai accounting ka, wo communicate kiya jata hai management me and other internal and external users me. Now, after discussing the characteristics of accounting. we can now conclude the definition of accounting so accounting is an art of identifying recording classifying summarizing and communicating the business transaction to ascertain the profitability and financial position of the business enterprise so the next topic is objectives of accounting the first objective is to keep systematic record of business transaction why there is a need to keep a systematic record of business transaction because by keeping a systematic record the possibility of errors fraud and omission can be avoided second objective is to calculate the profit or loss a businessman prepares trading and profit and loss account to calculate profit and loss so that he can get the information about how much goods have been sold during the year how much goods have been purchased he can get all such information by preparing trading and pnl account third objective is to ascertain the financial position of the business as the businessman must also know the financial health of the business for this purpose balance sheet is prepared to show the financial position of the business fourth objective is to ascertain the progress of business from year to year a businessman can ascertain the progress of business by comparing the profit and loss account of previous year to the current year and the last objective is to provide information to various parties it means communicating the accounting information to the various interested parties like 
owners, investors, creditors, etc. The next topic is bookkeeping. Now what does bookkeeping means? Bookkeeping is an art of recording business dealings in a set of books. Basically bookkeeping means to keep a systematic record of business transaction. It may include the four activities which are first is identifying the transactions of financial nature from amongst various transactions. Sari transactions may say financial transaction ko identify karna pehli activity hai. Second is measuring the identified transaction in terms of money. Financial transaction ko in terms of money mein measure karna. Third is recording the identified transaction in the books of original entry. Jo transaction humne financial nature ka identify kiya aur usko in terms of money mein express kiya usko hum kaha enter karenge books of original entry that is journal mein record karenge. And the fourth one is classifying them into ledger. Jo journal mein humne transactions record ki hain usko hum classify karenge ledger mein. So all these activities are included in bookkeeping. There is a difference between the bookkeeping and accounting as bookkeeping includes identifying, measuring, recording and classifying the financial transaction whereas accounting in addition to bookkeeping includes summarizing the classified transaction as the accounting starts where the bookkeeping ends. Another difference is the main objective of bookkeeping is to maintain systematic record of financial transaction whereas the main objective of accounting is to ascertain the net results and financial position of the business. So moving on to the next topic that is types of accounting. So the first type of accounting is financial accounting. Financial accounting kya hota hai? Jiska main purpose hota hai to record the business transaction, to ascertain the profit and loss by preparing trading and P&L account and to ascertain the financial position of the business by preparing balance sheet. Basically, abhi tak humne jo bhi pada, that is all financial accounting. Second is cost accounting. Now, cost accounting, main purpose of cost accounting is ascertaining the total cost and per unit cost of goods produced in a business enterprise means jitni bhi goods business mein produce ho rahe hain uska per unit cost ya total cost ko decide karna hi main purpose hota hai cost accounting ka third is management accounting the main purpose of management accounting is to present the accounting information in such a way as to assist the management in planning and controlling the business operations ye jitni bhi accounting information hai ye hame management mein is tarike se present karna chahiye jisse ki management ko help mile managerial decision lene mein next is tax accounting so this branch of accounting is mainly used for tax purpose Income tax and GST are computed on the basis of this accounting. Now the last type of accounting is social responsibility accounting. Social responsibility accounting is a process of identifying, measuring and communicating the contribution of a business to the society. And the contribution of business to the society consists of providing employment to the underprivileged providing financial and manpower support for public programs, environmental contributions, etc. So that's all for the today's session. We'll continue with the remaining contents in the next session. Thank you.